Good morning everyone. It's a bit windy. Welcome to Big Oki Golf. I am in a little industrial estate near Red Ruth and my car, Roxy, everyone names their cars, our car Roxy is having her windscreen replaced because it's got a massive crack in it. Um, today's a big day. Let's go and find somewhere where I can sit down in peace and quiet, hopefully warm, and uh, we'll talk about what's happening on Big Oki Golf very soon. Okay, so I dropped the car off. I've walked uh, about half a mile or so down the road to Cornwall Gold. Cornwall Gold is the largest jewellery emporium in Cornwall, so they say. Uh, but it's also a tourist attraction as well. It's got panning for gold, got things for the kids to do as well. And I found it's got a crazy golf place. Before we carry on, quick snippet of the crazy golf. Thank you very much to Sue, who's working on the crazy golf today, for being on camera. Fingers crossed for you. Yeah, you don't want to fluff it now, do you? <laughs> oh, that's part of my channel. I need my fluff shots all over the place. Go on, hole in one. I know you can do it. Oh! Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Really? Oh, it's still moving. Stop, stop, stop. That's not fair. Okay, now we're not there. Yay! Go, boy! <laughs> Thank you. That was a... Okay, that was for demonstration purposes only. Uh, the weather's not good today. It's half-term holidays here, so they're open at the moment, and they'll be reopening in the Crazy Golf and the other kind of touristy facilities at Easter, but the main jewellery place is still open all the time. Now, I've digressed. The important thing about today is that we're going to announce the biggest event to ever happen on Big Oli Golf so far. We have linked up with a charity. This year Big Oli Golf is going to be supporting a local charity. We're going to try and do this every year from now on. And uh, this year it's the Invictus Trust. The Invictus Trust is a fantastic charity. They help support teenagers and young people with mental health difficulties, but also their families. Up until very recently there was not a residential support home or house or unit in, in Cornwall at all. So a lot of people, if they had children with mental health issues and they had to be uh, looked after for a while somewhere else, families couldn't get to them. It was just a long way to travel, a bit of a nightmare. And uh, you know, if you've watched my channel for a long time, I've suffered from mental health issues all my life. When I was in my early 20s, I was sectioned and uh, put into a mental health unit in Bristol. My wife and young baby at the time were in Cheltenham. Again, I kind of understand the situation, but it's even worse when you're a teenager. So we're going to help them. Fantastic charity. Look on the website below and uh, we'll do some more videos and discuss the Invictus Trust and all the things they do during the year. Just going to raise some, the profile for them. And we're also going to try and raise some money. And the most important way of doing that this year is with the big Oggy Golf Charity Golf Day in aid of the Invictus Trust. Yes, it's happening. I've been saying it for ages, it's going to happen. It's insane, there's a lot of things working behind the scenes and there has been. It's taken a few little things to sort out, but we're there. The Big Oggy Golf Charity Golf Day will take place at Lanhydrock Golf Club and Hotel on the September the 1st. That's Tuesday, September the 1st, the day after Bank Holiday Monday. And Hydrock Golf Club is a fantastic golfing facility and a business hotel with a gym, etc., and a restaurant all kind of worked around it. So there is some accommodation there, and if you get yourself a ticket and then you want accommodation, you can contact Land Hydrock Golf Club, tell them that you're taking part in the Big Oggy Golf Day on Tuesday, September 1st. You should get a bit of a discount on a room. That's if they've got any left. It is around the bank holiday weekend. This is Cornwall, so you have to kind of book early and if they run out of spaces, there's loads of places around Cornwall. This is the tourist, tourist place. Okay, now the reason we picked Land Hydrock, sorry it's a bit windy here today. The reason we picked Land Hydrock is because it's got a hotel, so that's great. But also because it's easily accessible to anyone traveling from outside of Cornwall and also from around Cornwall. It's kind of centralized. It's off the A30, which is the main road coming into Cornwall from sort of North Cornwall and going down towards where I live. And, uh, 
it's just perfect just perfect i've looked around the course let's change hands a minute oh, hand holding today uh looked around the course got some fantastic holes beautifully landscaped course uh, neil and i or myself and uh, some of the other people members of the crew we're going to go and do a course vlog there very soon when the weather improves you know what it's like at the moment all the courses have problems so uh we want to show it off in its best light uh, but it's fantastic so let's get back to the details lamb hydrock golf club september the first tuesday september the first the day after bank holiday monday there is 72 players it's going to be stable for pairs better ball pairs uh, but it's not about the competition it's about the community it's about having the crack you know it's about having fun this is big ugly golf after all so yes there will be prizes for first second and third but there's also going to be a prize for the best lady if we have some hopefully we will uh taking part there'll be a prize for best junior hopefully there'll be some juniors taking part and uh it doesn't matter if you haven't got an official handicap we will sort that out for you as long as i know you can hit a ball properly and you understand the rules a little bit and the etiquette of golf everything's fine we'll make a, a handicap up for you on the day also it's pairs but most of you will be applying singly sorry just driving by most you'll be applying singly and that's fine because we will make up pairs for you on the day if you don't have someone from the group that you already want to play and that's part of the fun meeting new people enjoying the crack having a good time so it's 10 o'clock a.m start shotgun start hopefully we'll have 72 it's going to be very popular we've held back a few tickets because we want some of the people that have been on the channel before taking part we want to make sure that they're on it because obviously you want to play with those as well so people like little steve will be there simon parks will be there uh darren sturman uh who else yorkie bar hopefully matt professor neil allen will be there as well people you've seen on the channel uh, so that's going to be cool too my wife and i are going to be at the hotel we're staying at the hotel on the monday and the tuesday night so we'll be there on the afternoon before the event during the event and just after the event so uh, we can help out with any ideas you want to do any problems you have tickets tickets are this is the important part 45 pounds for the day uh we need a 20 pound non-returnable deposit and you'll be paying online through our automated shop i know we've got an automated shop we've been building a website thank you very much to simon parks for all his help building the website now to be fair this is 45 pound per person so said non-returnable 20 pound deposit and to be fair we're not opening the website until six o'clock on wednesday evening that's six o'clock tomorrow evening then you can all go and apply for tickets tickets available via paypal or bank transfer okay 20 pound deposit at the time we need the rest paid by the end of july and then we'll know that it's you you're confirmed on the day and then we can hopefully invite all of you 72 of you and friends and family if you've got golf widows widowers golf partners or non-golf partners let them come as well uh, we're organizing food after the event so 10 o'clock stableford play the round have some food with us and uh hopefully have a good time non-players will have to pay a little bit of surcharge towards food on the day that's that's all i can do we're, we're, we've cut this down to the bare minimum we've covered all the costs uh for all the players and it's just like a little bit of extra money towards the charity as well which is the important thing the important thing here is to have a great time having a good time with the community hitting a golf ball around hopefully in the right direction and also raising money and uh raising more kind of knowledge about uh, the invictus trust and what they do so lastly lastly what else oh yeah land hydrop land hydrop is a brilliant course for one other reason it has an extra hole it has a 19th hole and i don't mean the bar although it does have a bar and a restaurant etc it has a 19th hole it has a par three not sure the distance i think about 170 i'll have to check that when we go uh, over water and uh the intention is hopefully the weather will be okay september the first in cornwall keep your fingers crossed uh, when you're all eating having a drink chatting about yourselves having a bit of fun we're doing the scores etc we're going to set up a charity hole in one charity nearest the pin par three hole 
so you'll all be able to take shots and the and the tee off is actually right next to the terrace where people will be eating drinking and having a laugh so we'll, put, we'll set a bucket up for the Invictus Trust we'll get you to throw a few coins in have a go doesn't matter if you don't do it well because I'm going to be giving spot prizes out and that's the other thing about the about this thing this golf day it's not just about winners it's about taking part so yes we will do first second and third uh, we will do the best lady golfer if there's some playing I hope there will be we are going to do a best junior hope there'll be some of those playing what we do here is we're, we're completely inclusive uh, but it's also about enjoying it so not sure if I'll be playing I probably won't be if, if it's full but I'll be zooming around with a buggy and a camera and we're filming the day and uh, my wife Kelly she'll be on a buggy as well and we'll be giving away spot prizes just for a laugh just because I can just because we are able to do it and might be the worst shot we see all day might be the best shot we see all day there's lots of ideas okay we've got some sponsorship from a couple of businesses that we know they're going to be doing a couple of little events on two or three of the holes maybe but the main extra sponsor day uh, sponsor hole will be the 19th it's going to be a big laugh we're also going to move around here out the way of some cars we're also going to be doing uh, a charity raffle uh, it's going to be great there's some fantastic prizes already coming in thank you very much to everyone who's taking part in that and donating things at the moment I'm not going to give you details of all that yet because it's not about that yet it's about telling you when the tickets are available so I've waffled on long enough now support the Invictus Trust look at their website see what they do and then if you want to take part in the big Oggy Golf Day the website will be open as we've discussed already Wednesday night from 6 p.m. UK time uh, the tickets will be on there it'll say when there's low stock it'll say when they're all sold out the best we can do is an automated ticketing system you know, so you can pay by PayPal you can pay by bank transfer we want you there to have a good time thanks so much for watching it's gonna be a cracker honestly can't wait really excited by this we put so much into this already and there's a long way to go Matt you better be there mate I'm telling you I'm gonna ring you again in a minute you better be there see you all soon everybody make sure you subscribe to the channel make sure you click that button all the usual stuff but whatever you do make sure you go and look at the charity the Invictus Trust and if you want to play go and look on the website tomorrow at six o'clock bye for now thanks so much for watching I'll go get the car